An American astronaut is hours away from beginning his one-year mission on board the International Space Station. Scott Kelly will become the first American to spend an entire year above Earth. Officials say this mission is a crucial step toward figuring out how soon we might be able to send humans to Mars. Bill Harwood joins us now via Skype. He is a CBS News space consultant. And Bill, tell us more about this mission. What exactly is its purpose? Well, you know, the long-range goal for NASA is a manned mission to Mars, but I should say this is many, many years away. However, uh, whenever they go, they've got to figure out a way to keep the astronauts healthy during this multi-year trip there and back. Uh, so putting Scott Kelly and Mikhail Kornienko on the station for a full year, they're going to expose them to a battery of experiments, try to get a lot more information about how weightlessness affects bone loss, uh, muscle tone, all of that sort of thing. They're going to look at Kelly genetically as well to see changes that might happen due to space radiation, uh, things like that. And they're going to evaluate psychological issues that might come up over a long duration flight. So a Mars mission is a long way away, but if they're ever going to do it, they need to get this kind of information. So this is a, it's an important first step. And uh, they're also putting Kelly to work while he's up there. He's got to prepare the space station for new commercial crew capsules. Should be ready in about two years. Tell us about that part of the mission. Yeah, you know, that's really interesting. In the midst of all this medical research, the station's going to be undergoing the most significant reconfiguration since the shuttle fleet was retired back in 2011. Uh, you know, Boeing and SpaceX both are building commercial crew craft that supposedly will end NASA's sole reliance on Russian Soyuz, like the rocket that's going to carry Scott Kelly into space. They're going to start flying around 2017, but they need to put docking mechanisms on the station to replace the ones the shuttle used to let those spacecraft dock. So seven spacewalks are required through the year. They're going to put these two new docking adapters on, move one module from one location to another, make an awful lot of other wiring and internal changes. Quite a, quite a heavy workload on top of all the science, uh, science uh, research they've got planned. You know, you had a chance to speak with Scott Kelly recently. I don't know, for me, I look at these astronauts, men and women, and I sort of think of them as superheroes. They have the superhero mm -hmm. status. Did he say that he would miss anything, though, on Earth while he's in space? You know, Scott Kelly and his twin brother, Mark, uh, both of them former shuttle commanders, are very taciturn sort of guys. They, they don't show their emotions very readily. Uh, Kelly said, obviously, he'll miss his family and friends, but the one thing he talked about was missing the weather. Uh, you know, he pointed out that, you know, he's going to be in a year. It's like being in your office for a year and never leaving. And so the conditions are nice on the station, but I think he would appreciate a little rain every now and then, <laughs> some wind in his hair. Well, actually, he doesn't have much hair, uh, but, but weather in general. I think that's the one thing he did mention at a news conference. All right. Phil Harwood, fascinating. Thank you so much. Sure thing. Well, today's launch is scheduled for 3.42 Eastern time. You can watch the launch live right here on CBSN.